Jimmy introduced me to his uh, his parents were there um, to see me. And uh, I remember his mom saying, you know, Mike, your people attack my son all the time. I said, I said, I don't know my people are, but I said, you do realize your son attacks me or others and, and including me all the time. And she goes, oh, Mike, you're such a card. I read your book or something like that. And and they're really nice. And then uh, here comes Jimmy and we took pictures and and uh, there's the, there's our picture now. They, um, we took this picture and uh, and uh, here um, we start talking and he goes and he started asking me about the electronic voting machines. Do you think we really could get them out, Mike? Do you think you can get rid of them? I said, absolutely. I said, you know. And we now know that to be true. That, you know, that's um, Argentina got rid of them in four months, uh, just uh, uh, half a year ago, and, and saved their country. The first fair election they've had in a long, long time. They even did it faster than the Netherlands did it. And you have all these countries out there that don't have machines that have outlawed them. And uh, um, so I guess the point I'm making there is that you, I see it. There's a few times I've seen a side of Jimmy where. He's looking at things from a logical or a, um, a point of view that, hey, I'm not I'm sounding a real alarm here. And um, um, now, was he concerned? I think it was more like, don't you think this is impossible? But Brandon, it wasn't any of that um, stuff you see on TV that, sh um, you know, his what do you call his it? Shtick. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, but, you know, as we know, then from that time on, then, um, you know, He's had that fake mic on there, and it was pretty much just talked about, you know, he talked about us, I say us, for, you know, show after show. I remember the one time when I uh, when I was going to, during the China virus, um, um, or after that, when they were doing the truckers, it was like about a year and a half after. Remember, they were with the truckers, they were going to, you had to get vaccinated to get into Canada, and I was trying to get my truckload of pillows up there. And uh, this is when I uh, spoofed Zach, Zachary. I haven't heard his, I haven't seen him in, or talked to him in a long time. But um, the whole you're gonna media got, You're going to parachute pillows you're gonna in. You're going to parachute pillows in. Parachute with one little pillow on every single thing, like the WRKRP and throwing turkeys out of windows or whatever, right? Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, so the Washington Post and every paper in the country was like the number one story. Mike Lindell is going to, you know, bombard Canada with their throwing throwing pillows out out of uh, helicopters with little parachutes on them. And the Washington Post, Philip Baum, wrote an article about that. And, you know, it's like the front page of the Washington Post. You guys can Google this stuff. It's crazy. That, but everybody bought into it. He, he was, he was concerned that you're throwing pillows out of a helicopter. Could they come down too fast and hurt someone? They, so they, yeah, they, they, they did a whole someone. physics, a whole physics yeah, lesson yeah, whole, on the rate right, and the you drop. Remember, <laughs> you remember. And, uh, and then, uh, but here, you know, then Jimmy uh, goes on, goes on uh, his show and, uh, and here's this clip. Dan, who would have ever guessed his voter fraud crusade would wind up being the second craziest thing he's done? <laughs> Mike told the Daily Beast his backup plan it was to fly a helicopter over the border and drop the pillows from the sky. <laughs> then he claimed he was trolling the reporter. But at this point, how, do, how would we have any way of knowing when you're joking or not? <laughs> I mean, so, Brandon, as you see there, and Jimmy says, yeah, that's something Mike would do. Absolutely, he's right, because you know what? Anything, anything out there to do something to get the media talking about our election platforms has been my whole goal for three years. You know that. And, right. uh, but it was just amazing as this back and forth, you know, we'd see, you could, you could almost set your watch by at least once a week. He's, you know, he has to be watching every one of our shows, you know, every one. And um, so he has said he, that we're, he's our biggest fan. So of course he is. Yeah, biggest fan. Uh, mentioned it, you know, he said, hey, he goes, well, here's Mike Lindell with his, you know, Mike with his new bride and, and uh, went on and on about it. And uh, well, Jimmy grabbed that. Okay. So he grabs that and he does a whole clip and, uh, Here's the and here's this clip, everybody, where uh, uh, he went to his gift uh, and he got me a gift. We learned last week from Donald Trump, of all people, that Mike Lindell got married. The guy who sells every product under the sun has a bridal registry on another website, but one of the gifts they register for is a trash can. So I went, I bought that for him, even though I wasn't invited to the wedding. I thought it might be nice to send it. Well, Brad, check it out. Oh, Jimmy sent it, and actually, this is our uh, 
There it is, everybody. There it is. He's good for his word. He really, he really, he really did send you the trash can. He really did. Yep. Exactly what he said on TV. That's right. Al, is the least I can do for a man who's given me so much. <laughs> I had a feeling Mike might like the trash can, but what I did not anticipate is that his sidekick, Brandon, might get jealous. Wait, yeah, wait, no. I, didn't get a ge- I didn't get a gift. Well, you didn't get married, did you, this, uh, this last oh, year? 34 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> but you know what? I got Jimmy hey, a group. gift. I got oh, Jimmy a gift. Yeah. yeah, we're about to send these to Jimmy. He was commenting on my... Oh, yeah, there you go. Now, I'll get you. I'll try and get you Jimmy's address that we can get. We got to send that to him. Do you think he'll uh, wear one? Absolutely. I think he would, at least for a night or two, I think. You know, he's up for, he's up for most anything. Well, yeah, you know what? He's right. I am. And, uh, thank you, Brandon, for the pocket score. I love a fun accessory. And... <laughs> And I'll be sending something special your way, too. Thanks, Brand Dog. What a weird relationship this has turned out to be. So uh, Jimmy said he was going to send Brand Dog a gift. He said in the note right here, I'll read it again. Brandon, a special gift just for you. I hope it doesn't make Mike jealous. There you go. And so he did. Uh, True to his word, he sent me a gift. So you got the gift. I got the gift. And this is it right here, Mike. Now, this is the first (laughs) time. There it is, everybody. You got so you got uh, you got a shirt to match my uh, my painting from yes, Jimmy. I got a you know, and uh, wow, that's first time I've seen this. Are, everybody, are you yeah. jealous? Yeah, well, a little bit. I'm going, holy cow! You know what he had to do to get? What would they spend on uh, to to you know get to to do all that stuff? He goes. Uh, have you ever seen some of his skits he does on there when he's when he's quite playing? elaborate? They spend quite a bit of money on your very sets. elaborate. Well, he made you quite a gift, and, yes, he and, did. Uh, and I will wear it. I will wear it. Uh, um, and for him to pick that, which you know what I think, this is my theory, Brandon. He gave it a lot of thought, right? Yes, he did. Uh, and you know, he's read my book, right? He's read my book, and. Um, so you read my book, you get a guy like him to find the Lord. You know, you got you got behind us. You know, this painting is, if uh, I'm reading it here, you know, Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous. And it goes on for, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. Well, maybe, maybe, um, you know, maybe Jimmy's getting closer and closer, you know, to, to God. I'm telling you, Brandon, we are in the biggest revival in the history of the United States with all the bad things that are going on. And people are coming into this bucket. For, it doesn't matter what political side you're on. And wouldn't it be something if Jimmy finds the Lord, uh, you know, uh, and so he surrenders to Jesus Christ as his Savior? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you could pick all things. I think that's, uh, um, you know. That's well, I thought cool. he. I, I thought it was uh, very creative. We were all wondering, what's he going to send? What, he, what is he going to send? <laughs> I never dreamed this. I thought it was very creative. And it, right. it is it is legitimately the artwork there. And so right. uh, it, it is a nice vest that I will wear it. And I thank you, Jimmy. I thank you, Jimmy, for the gift. I actually like it. You know, you obviously know I like vests. I like it. And I will actually wear it more than just on this one broadcast. So thank hey, you. I, you. I almost feel bad that all I did was send him a, a, a handkerchief. I almost feel like I owe him a, another gift. 